What's up, guys? My neighbor Lou just went down to a dealership and uh, picked up the Aston Martin DB11 just for the weekend. And then he called me up and said, hey, you want to go for a spin? So uh, who am I to say uh, no to an Aston Martin? Although I, I hope it's okay with him that I bring you guys. Uh, okay. The DB11 is over here, but I, I gotta go up and get Lou. I can't just take the car by myself. Also need my glasses. Lou is nowhere in sight, so I'm just gonna go down to the car and text him from there, and then we can take a look at the car. Hey, there uh, is Fireball. Uh, Lou is the, the smallest, largest man you'll ever meet. The biggest heart, that's why my chest is so big. <laughs> uh, so what do you got? You got this little toy behind this. Oh my uh, God. How did you end up with that? I know you got an Aston in your, in your garage. Yeah, uh, uh, James Peacock from Newport Beach, uh, Aston Martin. Um, you know, he thought I'd fall in love with it, and he's right. I mean, I'm like, God. Yeah, yeah. no, it's unbelievable. You're it's, not going to be taking this back. No, I'm never right. taking it back. No, I keep so, telling him different excuses. Why, why Aston Martins? What, what do you like? Well, I like, um, I love the, uh, the detail, the expertise of all the, uh, you know. Hand craftsmanship. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Handmade, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. And like, the elegance. Like touching this guy is like standing next to a rock, dude. Like, and, the, and the sexiness. And the sexiness. Yeah, it, uh, the, the Aston's like you in a car. It really is. <laughs> We're going to go for a spin. Let's do it. Okay, do you know some details about this car? Oh, yeah, I do. Horsepower and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, all right. No words yet oh, to heaven. describe this incredible machine. Jeez. Uh, listen to the door. Ooh, solid. Just solid. Solid as a rock, like this dude right here. Uh-oh. So this is the Aston Martin DB11 on a very tight street, going in between cars, all kinds of things. I right, close the window. Dude, this car is um, stunning. Absolutely stunning. You have an Aston at home, though. You have one in, uh, in your garage. Right. What is it? DB9. DB9 at home. Uh, what happened to the DB10? Yeah, they skipped that. Not only do you have the, the DB9 at home, you have a CL1. Right. Uh, as if that car wasn't fast enough. But right. this supposedly is faster than the ZL1. Makes the ZL1 like a turtle. <laughs> I love my ZL1, I yeah. really do. But yeah. this Aston Martin is, has gone beyond greatness and they've taken it to the new stratosphere. It's, yeah, it's, it's quite incredible. What's the uh, what's the horsepower on this? 600. 600. And what's the motor? It's a V12 uh, by turbo. Okay. Twin turbo, yeah. You know what's beautiful about this car is you could have it elegant and kick back in the GT mode, mm -hmm. and then you could get it all torquey and crazy British muscle like you won't believe. Yeah. And uh, you know, just by a turn of a button, I know a lot of cars have that, but Aston Martin does it like nobody else. Yeah. So if your if your grandma wants to take it for a spin, you can put it in grandma mode. Absolutely. Yeah. And she'll love it. Or you can put it in serious badass Lou mode. You know. Italian and 
I love British cars. Yeah. Especially Aston Martin. Yeah, well. Aston Martin's my favorite. This is a whole a whole new level. But, uh, oh, yeah. you know, what's interesting is that um, you see a ton of Ferraris, you see a ton of Lambos right. in town. That's right. Uh, you don't see that many Astons. In the UK. Absolutely. You certainly don't see uh, that many new Astons. Absolutely. Or any Aston for that matter. Yeah. You know, really. Yeah, no, it's a great what, point. What's the price point on this? I concur. This is uh, $250. i am assuming your DB9 was a little bit less than that. Yeah. It was uh, 50000 less. Yeah. This is the launch edition. It is. And it launches. For, for a reason. Fireball doesn't want me to launch it. So oh, well, launch. well, we can feel it. Yeah, I got to feel it. We won't launch Give it. me a little bit of something. Really? You sure? Yeah, just a little bit. You don't need to do much. And that's really nothing. Feel like and that's nothing. Yeah. Honest yeah, to God. Yeah. I can get it so crazy that you'll think we're flying in the air. Yeah. No, literally. I mean, I'm not even kidding. I can, but I can do that at home with a great pasta dinner. <laughs> Going to therapy and seeing some guys that talk about your lows in life, it's just forget about it. Get yeah. one of these. Yeah, exactly. It's way funner and uh, it'll turn out to be cheaper in the end. <laughs> right. <laughs> God knows. Yeah, Newport Beach, I mean, obviously there are Aston Martin dealerships closer for yeah. me, but yeah. these guys are fantastic. The service is incredible and they give you the best deal. How did you get so beefy? You know, I mean, what's, what's the secret of, of uh, health for you? I've been working out since I was 10 years old. Yeah. I never stopped. This is like 10 years ago? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I worked out with the best guys that ever lived with gold. Jim was the real deal back then. Yeah. We live in Malibu, right? you know, and uh, there's a lot of, uh, of amazing things about living in this town. Oh, yeah. A lot of successful people. What's what's three your three top tips on success? Oh, uh, man, I love that. Number one, when you're working out in the gym, keep the phone in the car. <laughs> Unless mm -hmm. it's emergency. Yeah, right. I see everybody with the... <laughs> yeah, this is where we're going to go right here. Okay, so Hopefully that truck will be gone. Uh, number two. Number two. Keep the phone in the car at the gym. And number three. Number three. Yeah. Stay close to God. Yeah. Which is actually number one. This is actually number one. Look exactly. back to number one. That's yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. And what is God for you? And Aston God. Martin, right? And Aston Martin. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. There's a couple design cues I want to point out here, Fireball. This is the new Aston Martin Side Streak. That's what you officially call that, by the way, for people that are looking for that. This is the V12 by Turbo. Oh, I love this. Uh, this this is beautiful. Aston Martin Swan Wing. Woo! Doesn't hit the curb. Looks elegant. Looks sexy. New 
wheels are fantastic. And also the side pipes are just, they're incredible. I love doing it kind of like sideways. Really cool. V12 5.2 twin turbo. And this wood engine was made by Ahmed Manir. Sorry, buddy, you can't say your name. But you did a great job. horse on a stallion and you feel the, the liveness of the horse. Yep. That's just a, kind it's, of an analogy. It's breathing heavy on me right now. I can feel it. Right, exactly. No, I mean, even a turn signal sounds like a heartbeat. You mob while you're driving this. Oh my God. It's a full-time job explaining to everybody what car it is to new Aston Martin DB11. Yeah. Latest and greatest. And I got Very a nice. bat in the back seat. Uh, no, 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 I don't. <laughs> Life is interesting um, in many ways. Uh, it's it's quite the journey, as you know. Uh, things happen uh, randomly, it seems, and uh, good things happen, bad things happen, and we can attribute that to a lot of different things. But honestly, that's really not the way it works. The way it does work is that you attract everything to you. I mean, everything. In fact, there isn't anything that is happening to you right now that you're not attracting. Now, that can seem like a bad thing, uh, but it's not. It's actually a really good thing because it's constantly giving you feedback. It's constantly telling you, look, uh, you're getting this thing and uh, it's not good. So uh, up here, you need to think about uh, other things. You need to think about things that are good for you. The thing is that people are addicted to negative thinking. They're addicted to worry and fear and anxiety and things like that. And that really comes down to faith, you know, because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that simply means that, um, you know, if you knew what the answer was, if you knew exactly what to do or exactly what the indication was for, for anything in life, then you wouldn't need faith because it would just kind of happen. Now, one thing's for sure, I attract a lot of cars. I attract a lot of cool cars in my life uh, in a variety of ways, and it kind of is overwhelming sometimes how it comes to me. I work with about 12 different manufacturers, and they all send me cars. I work with a lot of museums, and they want me to drive their cars. And you guys desire uh, a show that uh, that features interesting cars and interesting people. It's my job to be able to give that to you. Case in point, I kind of hung out with Lou today with that Aston DP11, a spectacular car. And you could see that, that Lou was very passionate about that car and passionate about the brand, passionate about a lot of things. And what he did, although I didn't say it, was that he gave me a gift. And that gift was his passion for that thing. And he, he wanted to share that. And, and it, it almost bubbles over. It almost, it almost fills you up and it bubbles over so much that you, you have to express it. It's the universe pressing forward with something that you, you feel so intensely that you have to be able to share it. And that's the importance of passion. And where faith comes in, the substance of things hoped for, is that you you want these things to happen. You want things to happen that are cool in your life, that, that make your life fulfilling and worth living. And that means you can't hold back. You can't hold back. Whatever it is that's going on in your life right now, whatever that may be a challenge or maybe difficult, you just have to press forward. You have to push forward. You have to force forward. Everything that's in the past, leave it in the past. Let it go and move forward. The life of your dreams is waiting for you. It's right next door. It's right around the corner. All you have to do is grab it. The only question is that you have to answer. The only question you have to answer is what are you waiting for? Okay, that's it, people. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you didn't see the video on uh, the Grand National Roadster Show, it's right here. Check it out. It's right in this area. Super fun show. Had a great time. I hope you enjoyed that, too. And once again, as always, we are here to help you improve your life through what you love. And I love giving you guys the goods. We'll see you tomorrow.